But before we get started, let's sing The More We Read Together. It goes like this. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. All right, the story I want to read for you today is called The Great Whipplethorpe Bug Collection. And let's get right into it. Summer days were long for Chuck Whipplethorpe in his new house on Normal Street. He often went outside where he felt the chances of something interesting happening were slightly better. He was often wrong. If all else failed, Chuck always had his dad to pester. Dad, I'm bored, Chuck said. Go build a fort. That's what I did when I was a kid, his dad replied. Or you could always help unpack some of these boxes. Chuck groaned. I'm not that bored. He watched his dad hunched over his computer, typing. Dad, he asked, am I going to be as boring as you when I grow up? Chuck's dad, Chuck's dad couldn't help but laugh. If you're lucky, Chuck. It wasn't long before Chuck decided that he was, in fact, bored enough to unpack boxes. I remember this, Chuck said as he unwrapped a glass case filled with brightly colored insects perfectly pinned to a board. Grandpa made it, right? That was his first bug collection. He made it when he was nine. Nine, Chuck gasped. His last science project had resulted in a pile of broken toothpicks and a marshmallow up his nose. Grandpa even discovered a whole new insect species when he got older, his dad added. That night, Chuck had trouble concentrating on his bedtime story. I can't believe Grandpa really made that bug collection when he was a kid. His dad must have helped him, right? Chuck asked. Nope. His dad, your great-grandpa, was mostly gone, sailing around the world. He was a deep-sea diver. Really? He actually got attacked by an octopus once. And his dad, your great-great-grandfather, was gone even more fighting in wars and climbing mountains. He once lost three toes to frostbite on Mount Everest. Seriously? Chuck had no idea his ancestors were so cool. His dad put the book down and told Chuck all about the great Whipplethorpe men before him. Charles Van Velser Whipplethorpe I, decorated soldier, mountain climber. Charles Van Velsor Whipplethorpe II, Navy Admiral, Oceanographer. Charles Van Velsor Whipplethorpe III, famed entomologist, world traveler. Charlie Whipplethorpe, dad, data analyst, amusement park enthusiast. Chuck was concerned. The great Whipplethorpe men, it appeared, were getting a lot less great. Big plans today, Chuckster? Yes, it's Charles. Yes, very big plans. Climb a mountain, get frostbite, deep sea dive slash fight an octopus, discover species. The tallest peak on Normal Street, a large pile of mulch offered little chance of frostbitten toes. So Chuck moved on to his second adventure on the list. Mom, which way is the ocean from here? About 1,500 miles east or west. On to number three, finding a new species. Chuck determined had to be easier. 
It looks like it's, uh, yep, his dad explained, a wood boring beetle. So it isn't new, Chuck sighed, and it's even called boring beetle. Wood boring, his dad said. And just because it isn't a new species doesn't mean it isn't super cool. Maybe it's the first insect in your, in your own great collection. One even better than Grandpa's, Chuck thought. To start, all he had to do was kill one small beetle. New plan. Collect insects that are already dead. Mucus domestica. Location windowsill. Cause of death, natural causes. Mucus domestica. Location lamp. Cause of death, natural causes. Mucus domestica. Location spiderweb. Pantry. Cause of death, guts eaten. Well, Chuck's dad said, staring at the collection. It's different from Grandpa's. Chuck grumbled. Different means bad. Not at all, Chuck's dad looked at Chuck. You don't want to hurt your beetle, and you made something new because of that. That's how things change. That's how things get better. Chuck didn't think his dead fly collection was a change for the better, but he watched his boring beetle crawl around in a tiny jar. He had an idea for something that could be maybe even something great. Has anyone seen my charge cord? Chuck! Who put the milk back without the cap? And why does nothing in the fridge have a lid? Chuck! Where are the car keys? Chuck! Outside, Chuck found just the right spot and gently placed his beetle inside its new home. I hope you like it, he said. And you can invite other bugs too, okay? Good night. Wow, Chuck, his dad said the next morning. It's like a bug collection, but for live, happy bugs. I put a lollipop in there to get more to come, Chuck explained. I think it worked. Chuck's dad leaned in for a closer look, and wow, look at that. The cap to the milk and the car keys? Seriously? His dad shook his head and laughed. It's great, Chuck. You should really be proud. At bedtime, Chuck thought more about his grand and great ancestors as he climbed under the covers. Dad, he said, I'm kind of glad you're boring. It means you're around a lot. Around a lot with you, Chuck's dad added. That's the adventure I always wanted. That's still kind of a, a boring adventure, Dad. Chuck's dad laughed. It's a lot like wrestling an octopus, actually, he said, as he wrapped his arms around Chuck and tickled him. Then, as they began to read, Chuck had an interesting thought. Maybe the Whipplethorpe men weren't getting worse. Maybe they were just getting different, and that's how things change, and that's how they get better. The end. Before we finish up, I want to sing a song for you called Ants on the Ground. Goes like this. I was walking in my backyard just the other day when I noticed a hill of dirt in my way. I kicked the dirt mound and gave a shout as a million million ants came crawling, crawling out. Ants on the ground, ants on the ground, help me stop these ants on the ground. They're crawling in my shoes and they're crawling. Skeeters in the air, skeeters in the air, help me see.
slap these skeeters in the air. They're buzzing every I sat down beneath the willow tree, but I felt something wiggling all over me. Caterpillars in my hair, caterpillars in my hair, gotta shake these caterpillars from my hair. They're crawling up my nose and they're crawling everywhere, gotta shake, shake, shake these caterpillars from my hair. Shake them out! I said, finally, I can get some peace and take a nap, but a furry little critter crawled into my lap. Meow. Kitty in my lap, kitty in my lap. I love to pet this kitty in my lap. She's perfect friend for an afternoon nap.